OK, this how to video is going to go through how to use the ZDRC command inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So what is ZDRC? Um, so by default uh, or traditionally, if we look at Constraint Manager, which is the DRC system for the Cadence PCB tools, you have effectively a group of either electrical, physical spacing, manufacturing, 3D DRCs. You, were, you set up the, the DRC rule, so you'd create a rule, you'd then apply it to nets, and then that would report a DRC. But that's usually done um, effectively on a on a layer by layer basis. The ZDRC gives us the capability to, to check um, in between layers. So there may be some boards that you're designing, maybe safety, uh, maybe you're meet, meeting kind of the primary, secondary, or high power, low power type designs where you need to, to check uh, tracks between layers to make sure they're not not too close to, to break a, a safety agency or an explosion based type design where you need to check these things. So the ZDRC system is perfect for that. So if we look under the tools menu, there's something called ZDRC. <clears throat> so here the form will pop out and it kind of gives you um, lots of different options. I would recommend clicking on the help button here. You'll get effectively um, the help guide for this specific command. So you can kind of see the capabilities of what it's useful and what all the different commands will do. So in this example, um, I'm just going to pick a couple of nets. Now, this net selection can either be, you know, from all layers, we can do uh, net classes. We can do the net classes there as well. And you can pick specific objects from and to that you want to check. Um, so if I just do uh, all nets here, and you can also either use the control click to click the nets that you're interested in. You can use the shift click um, to select the item. So I'm just going to select a couple of nets here. I want uh, that net there and I want that net there. So I'm just going to check between these two nets. You then either use the spacing value, which is effectively either the DRC system rules, or I can put a specific amount in, maybe a millimeter. I can include all copper layers. I can exclude certain layers if I want. I'm just going to have all layers here. I'm going to go from the top to inner two, because they're the two layers that I'm interested in. Um, and if we do an update and then look at the output, I can start to see some DRCs. So there's a couple of options here which are quite useful, obviously, from a zoom point of view and limit the layers and the display overlap. The display overlap will physically show what the overlap is. So if I if I double click here, you can start to see effectively there's the DRC, there's the DRC. So you can see that. So this display overlap is showing this white amount where effectively the 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 D hen net is crossing the A18 net, which is the two nets I picked. And you can see, I said by a millimeter, so it's given me a millimeter distance between these two, so you can physically see the crossovers on the design. Um, so that's the, the ZDRC command.